put it in here. So, I just let them ask the question now. Oh, but well, first I'm here. Yeah, so. or First, I'm gonna introduce you. Okay. Oh, good morning, guys. So we're here at Washington Park with Miss Sheila DeForest. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes, you did. Parang <laughs> last name, last name mo palang parang green na green. I know, <laughs> di ba? Because it's uh, it's French in origin. Hi, everyone. Uh, uh, it's French in origin, and it means person of the forest. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So she's a uh, Mrs. Eco Philippines International. International. Well, I competed as Mrs. Eco Philippines last year in Las Vegas and won the title. Oh, wow. So Philippine pride. And I see your Facebook. You're gonna be one of the judges for Miss Earth USA. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That's so exciting. I know. I'm and Guys, this is the first time I meet her, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I try to be natural. <laughs> this is my first time I meet her. Like I meet a, a beauty queen in oh person. My gosh. <laughs> oh, so you are also like a former like model, successful model. I I still kind of do a little bit, yeah. um, but you know, as with other things with COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't have a lot of work right now. Oh, are we pick, sorry, are we gonna pick up this? <laughs> Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> what? What so we are cleaning today yeah. at Washington Park. Oh, what is oh, oh, it used to be part Here of in a Denver. Yeah. There is trash. trash. So, Miss Sheila, yeah. um, why is like the my first question so <laughs> why is the eco is close to your heart like well the environment is very important because our lives and mm -hmm. our health actually depends on how healthy our environment is mm -hmm. so pollution affects all of us climate change affects all of us it affects our health it affects our agriculture and um, our communities as well because mm -hmm. unfortunately a lot of um, the effects of climate change affects the marginalized and uh, communities of color unfortunately so uh, especially with COVID-19 this conversation has been brought forward so people can see the injustices not only socially and racially but mm -hmm. also environmentally that's, see, I, I, I really like, I heard that a lot, especially like for people like, you know, like um, I have this co-worker, mm -hmm. like she even gave me the spoon like made of like um, kawaii, was oh, the, bamboo, the bamboo, yeah, the bamboo. Yeah. like I remember when I was a child, mm -hmm. that's what we, that's what we used. Oh yeah? What, yeah? Which province are you from? Um, Dumaguete. Negros I've Oriental. Been. I've been yeah. to Silay oh. and uh, Dumaguete. Oh, okay. That was actually my first plane ride. Yeah. From Manila to Dumaguete. Oh wow. In high school. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you know, everybody has to be aware with, like, especially with plastics. Uh -huh. Single-use plastics, like, you know, those disposable and forks mm -hmm. you use them once and then you throw them away and then they're non-biodegradable mm -hmm. so they end up as trash yeah uh, especially so, like water bottles yeah that too well I they're, think supposed, that's number one. they're supposed to be recyclable mm -hmm. but a lot of times they end up at the side of the road yeah uh, people just throw them out of their cars they don't think that these are plastics that mm -hmm. don't biodegrade and um, they'll be in nature forever if people mm -hmm. don't pick them up. So that's why we're here. Yeah, we're picking, picking up. up. But this park is are. actually clean. <laughs> I'm amazed because it's it's one of the park in Denver, Colorado, and it's it's clean. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> well, I guess because of the COVID, so huh, there's not much people not coming much people. here. I mean, they do also have people like you guys picking up the trash. So. Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're doing our share, you yeah. know, to give back to the community and, you know, hopefully we can generate awareness about 
plastic, a single use plastic, especially this month. It's a plastic free July. Oh, yeah. it is. So, yeah. July plastic free month. Free month. So, this is, well, it shouldn't be just a month. Yeah, it should right? be every day. Every day. Like every day we, we should use think. plastic every day. <laughs> we should re uh, rethink how plastic is mm -hmm. part of our lives and if it's avoidable or if it's single use we can avoid it we have to yeah, be really conscious of it like actually don't take right plastic now. bags from and then just oh, or like like i noticed like most people like me like if i go to work i use zip wrap and i just i just like i was just like oh my god this i don't think this is good because you know we use a block and then we throw it away yeah. although we are we put like even though like recycle mm -hmm. but i don't know the block i wish we can find something the block is unfortunately single use uh -huh. so i'm guilty of that too i was guilty of that when in the beginning but now i reuse the blocks i wash them and reuse them again and they last a really long time yeah so i hope um everyone is aware right? mm -hmm. and you know like just preserve the earth yeah it's very important yeah i found one <laughs> yeah. oh. I know it's all these things like you know the microplastics they're so small and um, sometimes they're hard to find and see like but you can do your own cleanups in your own local parks talk to kids about recycling segregating and composting especially I did compost before but now we do so we have this compost um, pile in our backyard uh -huh. so all of our biodegradable like um, food scraps yeah vegetable scraps they all go there oh. so, yeah the one that i shoot for gardening yeah. i was actually amazed because she used it for like recycle for mm -hmm. for her plants yes. and it's good because mm -hmm. that's how it used to be yeah um you know like my grandma would garden and she would be compost yeah <laughs> so it's it's a matter of going back into what we're used to or before plastic came into this into the picture because mm -hmm. we used to have glass and uh tin cans aluminum those are recyclable yeah. forever and like plastic the plastic some they say it's recyclable mm -hmm. but it degrades every time they recycle it and then when they recycle it to like an end product mm -hmm. after that probably it's not recyclable anymore mm -hmm. so um how does being a beauty queen mm -hmm. help your advocacy well I use my crown. <laughs> I use my title when I approach government officials, oh, wow. organizations, and you know we seek collaboration. I seek collaboration opportunities, and uh, yeah, so it opens doors for me. So it's a matter of basically leveraging the crown as yes, plastic. Look, not plastic. Oh, this is for the dog. dog. So, um, do you have any like, um, kind of like place that you focus on? Like, you live in Golden, I right? In Colorado. Yeah. So, yeah. you're just like focus on Denver, or no? I, I can. Well, work you're with international. I'm international, <laughs> <laughs> so I can work with anyone. And any city I've worked in Golden, I've worked in Lakewood, mm -hmm. Arvada, oh, so uh, awesome. Evergreen. Yeah, I see the, the video that you shoot is you're in California? 
Is that in California? Na like, eco video? Yeah, like a Oh, that was in Baguio. With the former um, other beauty queen. I think, like you guys in the ocean, like on the, kind of like in the ocean. Oh, no, that was in Wakanda. Yeah. yeah. So I, prior to COVID, I used to travel a lot for environmental activities, but nice. after March, that's it. <laughs> I'm confined to Colorado. Which is, I mean, which is okay. I mean, Colorado has its own fair Yeah. And I'm also um, undergoing climate reality leadership training for the by Vice President Al Gore. Mm -hmm. So after we're done, we are uh, we can go out into the community and do presentations on climate change oh. and educate people. So you're trained like yes, oh, like so yeah. So we're certified. So we have that credibility when we go out into the community and talk talk to organizations, to schools, mm -hmm. and. Um, be more educated ourselves mm -hmm. so we are um, we are convincing mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have the tools and equipment to be able to more education yeah. mm -hmm. because um, there's the science oh. with climate change so people unfortunately there are, there are some people who still don't believe that yeah. climate change is real it is real we're from the Philippines we know yeah and we We've experienced the effects yeah. of climate change even like, the past few years. I remember when I was a child, they always told me like, don't burn tires because mm -hmm. they will destroy our mm -hmm. ozone layer. Yeah. So if we have skin cancer, like, oh no. Part of it, yeah. Destroyed. Yeah, the particulates, um, for, um, heavy metals as well, mm -hmm. even like um, e-waste. Because I work with different organizations in the Philippines, and mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Eco Waste Coalition, and um, they have a campaign on e-waste, so that's electronic waste. Oh, yeah. like electronic. So it's metal, metal, yeah, heavy yeah. metals, so like lead, that um, it's not handled properly. It's mm -hmm. um, it pollutes the soil, then it goes to the water, yeah. and it goes to the air. So it's actually it's very pervasive as well. So, um, so yeah. So it's about educating everyone. Yeah, and it's um, and our relationship that you know that they can think about the relationship of the environment uh -huh. and their own personal health. Yeah, that's and very big Yeah. Yeah, I, in, you know where I work? Where we use um, the card because we process the credit cards. Okay. And we use, they said, like the recycled plastic. Okay. It's like, I was like, wow. So it's like we're supporting for the, mm -hmm. you know, the earth. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's called ocean plastic. Ocean plastic. Yeah. So what's what's the mean of ocean plastic? Like the all the plastic that they find from the ocean? Yes. Uh, ah. for, unfortunately, a lot of the plastics in the world end up in the ocean. Yeah, because they like they don't know how to recycle it. Well, and some maybe consciously or unconsciously um, being thrown, or they end up in the sea. Oh, okay. But That's people funny. like when they throw plastic in rivers or creeks eventually it may, they make their way down to the sea oh. yeah so even here in Colorado they're saying yeah I mean why would we deal with ocean plastic when we're mm -hmm. so far but whatever people can throw up here mm -hmm. ends up there someday. true that's true um I think we're very like I I, I mean my observation is like we're very kind of like conscious with our nature generally yes um so it's you know it's a matter of people being more aware yeah and responsible 
yeah. So yeah, that, those are microplastics. We should, we should do like, um, you know, like uh, the trail where people hide. Cause yeah. I feel bad oh. sometimes. I see those like plastic, like for dogs, yeah. and they just leave it in beside the. I know. Beside the trail, yeah. and I was like, those are plastic, you yeah. know. Well, because they think it's a, they say because it says probably biodegradable on the bag. But the thing is, with biodegradable plastic, it needs a certain temperature. Oh. Constant temperature for oh, wow. I didn't know for it to biodegrade. So it has to be professionally composted or processed. So still, still it needs yeah. to be picked up and so you still throw it have, away. Yeah, so not just leave there. Yeah, exactly. So that's why they have the, those bins yeah. that you know the park park managers or whoever manages yeah, the park the rangers. collects the rangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I noticed that there were in Morrison. Like, like oh my god, they just leave this beside on the yeah, that's sad. And, um, you know, like you get those um, recyclable plastic bags. Mm -hmm. um, those are supposed to be like brought back to the store. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, they're not processed by our recyclers. Yeah. And, yeah, because they need to be processed. Special, um, yeah. it's, it's specialized. Otherwise, they'll just end up in the environment, and then if they do degrade, they will turn into like microplastic, which ends up, you know, like in um, with the animals when they eat them. Yeah. So, like in the sea. Yeah. Like they've uh, caught fish mm -hmm. that have plastic. I know, like the whales, like whales, even small fish. Yeah, and we eat fish. Yeah, and shellfish. <laughs> I mean, we need we need those, you know. So we should be taking care of our ecosystem, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because everything will go back to us. Yeah. If we don't take care of it. Yep. So they're having, they're voicing their, you know. Um, and they are making the older people accountable yeah. for what is happening or what's going or what's going wrong yeah. <laughs> with nature and you know like yeah their their voices are being heard all over the world so mm -hmm. so it's they are they are the leaders of now you're welcome oh, oh, so I guess that's answer to my last question. Like, how can we help you to um, for your advocacy? Well, we're right. all we're all environmental advocates. If you want to, it's it's not rocket science. Yeah. Every little thing we do, where you came out today to help mm -hmm. with the cleanup, you're aware in yourself and mm -hmm. you share it with your coworkers, your families. So we're all doing something. And yeah. We don't have to shout from the rooftops. <laughs> we can start with one step, True. one simple step. Yeah. And be more conscious and um, doing what's right yeah. for the environment. And I think also like educate, because like me, I'm kind of, I just heard about it. I'm not really like aware what's really like mm -hmm. into, you know, inside the story, you know. It's a big, it's a big story. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, little by little, you know, keep on educating yourself, mm -hmm. the kids, and um, your family, friends. So it's like, you know, it's, um, it's like a dom domino effect. Yeah. So every person you reach out to, every person who does something will help. Yeah. And it helps to have a crown too. <laughs> oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> So everyone can be a queen. <laughs> and environmental advocate. Environmental advocate. Yay. <laughs> I like that.